my nachos, I get to the chapel and they explain the game, and I missed all of the instructions. So um, as soon as I get there, they're like, hey, we're about to go run to the playground. I was like, all right. So they start running to the playground. I'm walking behind them, eating my nachos. Get to the playground, and they're like, all right, turn around. We got to go back to the chapel. Finishing up my nachos. I finished my nachos. And then they're up on stage, and they're like, hey, Jonathan, come here. I go up there. I'm like, all right, you're going to get a thing of keys. And you're gonna try all the keys in the lock, and if you get it, we win. I'm like, oh, all right. So I'm standing there waiting for the keys. Keys get there. I try a few of them, we get it, and somehow we won. I got nachos, and we won the game. So let's go. <laughs> Then went the devils out of the man and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake and were choked. When they that fed them saw what was done, they fled and went and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what was done and came to Jesus and found the man out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. They also which saw it told them by what means he that was possessed of the devils was healed. Then the whole multitude of the country of the Gadareans round about besought him to depart from them, for they were taken with great fear, and he went up into the ship and returned back again. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity this evening to read some scripture. Lord, to look at it tonight. Lord, to examine it tonight. Lord, I pray that your name would be lifted high. I pray that Jesus Christ would be magnified tonight through our time in your word. And we'll thank you for it. We'll praise you for it. I pray that you'd give us ears to listen and hear what, what your word would, would speak to us tonight about. And may we have hearts that would respond and receive the word with gladness. And we'll thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My experience coming to Camp Joy has been like nothing but fun. There are so many fun things you can do. It's the different people I meet every year. I've met new people, made new friends. I think it's been super helpful to come out of just the real like life in general and then coming to a place where you can just focus on Christ. Something that I've learned about God this week that I haven't learned any other week. Um, it's kind of like the sermon that he talked about, uh, mustard seed, like little faith can grow into huge, like a lot of faith. That's like kind of been encouraging. Greatest things ever. 
because even though all of us are sinners and you know we all have bad things, God doesn't care. God still loves you and He would love you uh, forever. The Codex. It's a device of immeasurable power. It has the potential to be used as an indestructible shield or a weapon of unfathomable power. For many years I've traveled the world searching for the Codex and I have come up short every single time. And that's where you come in. I am employing you two, the Emerald Society and the Nighthawks, two of the finest spy agencies that the world has ever heard of. You must find the Codex and retrieve it for me. Do this and you will be greatly rewarded. But beware, there are those that are also searching for the Codex and the consequences of them finding it would be disastrous, both for you and the world as we know it. Find the Codex and retrieve it for me. I will.